Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ben with Eritabe Gardens in Georgia, Zone 7. I have a nice one for you today. Yesterday was our Fig Arama event, July 29th, Saturday. It was fun. We had a nice time. I made a video about the event. Go and check that out. And uh, today's video, I just want to share with us uh, the uh, fig trees that I got from the event for free. And also, I won a fig tree at the fig raffle, uh, which is a yellow Lebanese. I won that, and then I have others that uh, I got for free. So I got seven fig trees for free. That's why it's good to attend fig events like that. And in September, there's going to be a fig event in Chattanooga. In September, in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I think in one of my videos, I'm going to put that information there also to remind people. It's good. So you can come with fig plants to trade. Come with cuttings. If you have cuttings to give people to trade, to swap for a raffle, you know. But it was all fun. In fact, I met some YouTubers that I'm subscribers to and two of them are my subscribers also. So I met out of the three YouTubers, I met two of them for the first time and it was nice. So I'm going to show you the fig trees that I got from the fig arama. And also, I want to give a shout out to Lazy Dog Farm. It's one of the channels that I'm subscribed to, and I met him there for the first time. Indeed, he gave me a wonderful fig tree. So, let me show you guys the fig trees that I came home with from Fig Arama event. Down there. That's me. No, uh, I thought that the, I was pretty sure you put yours in. Okay, let me get. Well, my yellow Lebanese didn't come back, and I got it back. Oh yay! Yeah. <laughs> so I got yellow Lebanese back. Mine died last winter, and I got it back. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I won. Yellow Lebanese. Here are the seven fig trees that I came home with. Now I'm going to start with this one here. It has fruits already. This is Martinica Ramada. It was given to me by Lazy Dog farm shout out to lazy dog farm i appreciate you sir for blessing me with martinica remada even with fruit on it this was a gift from him to me i know ah uh, i appreciate that and also i got this smith from him when he was leaving the event, he left the event before me, he left some fig trees behind for people that want 
fig trees. So I picked this meat from among the trees it left behind. And look at the size of this smith tree. Wow. Lazy Dog Farm. Thank you. I want to encourage you guys to visit his channel. He, he is here in uh, southern Georgia. But his channel is loaded. His channel is good. And he sells fig trees on his channel. He has a website where he sells fig trees. So my smith i lost my smith last winter it didn't come back to life and now i have a new smith tree from lazy dog farm and here also is uh, let me see this one here is generic this one is generic uh, let me see. Okay, January. I lost my January last winter. It didn't come back to life. And look at the size of this plant. Free of chat. Look at that. That is free from the event. And yeah is the yellow Lebanese that I won at the fig raffle. Yellow Lebanese. Last year, Opium Tain on Southern Figs Forum blessed me with uh, yellow Lebanese last year. Unfortunately, it died last winter. I didn't come back. All of my Lebanese my black Lebanese died, didn't come back to life. My yellow Lebanese died, didn't come back to life. But at Fig Arama, I won yellow Lebanese fig tree. So I've learned my lesson. If in winter, if the temperature is going to drop below 20 degrees, all the fig trees that didn't come back to life that I, that I have again, like January, yellow lebanese smith i will put them in my garden shade i won't leave them until the temperature rises above 20 degrees then i will bring them out i always leave my figs out look at them here i always leave them out here i don't take them in and all this came back to life but there are some at the back there that didn't come back to life way way at the back there but this came back to life so i won't be scared to leave them here because i know they will bounce back again these are very cold adi varieties so so that's yellow lebanese look at the sizes of these fig trees that i got for free now this one here, I don't want this Martinica to fall. Okay. All right. This one was given to me, Kadoda. I lost my. Cardoda tree in the last winter. My giant Cardoda didn't come back. A few days ago, I was about to buy some cuttings on fig bait, but I just didn't go ahead to, to buy it. And I got it for free. Look at the size. Free. Cardoda, free. Now, this one here is Scott's Yellow. Got it for free with fruits on it. I have a LSU Scott Black. And I've been longing to, to get LSU Scott Yellow. And I got one for free yesterday. 
even with fruit. Look at that. Yeah. Now, let me put this here. And then the last one here, look at the size of this tree. Let me show you the variety. Scott Yellow. So I got two LSU Scott Yellow. And do you know what? Look at this as this as figlet forming on it one figlet there so i'm happy i got two lsu scott yellow that's my lsu scott black right there let me show you my lsu scott black you see that is it right there lsu scott black and it has some figs on it so I'm glad that now I have my LSU Scott Yellow. Very soon to be it will be standing next to this one here. But let me show you. I didn't know that I'm going to get figs this year because of the 12 degrees cold weather we had last winter. This is my first experience of my trees dying because of cold but they came back look at dr gowadi loaded with figs look at I have figs that i'm going to eat this is a nero 600 m this one here is special Sweet Felicia, look at the tree. It has figs. Not all of them have figs, but I'm glad. This is my LSU red that was so slow at the beginning. This is LSU Oruk. It's still struggling. The same time with LSU red, they were both struggling, and all of a sudden, my LSU red broke through and now it has one figlet now here is a new shootout and i'm leaving it so next year by the grace of god i'm going to la this to have two because i used to have two LSU right this one came back you can see that is the old stem this one came back but the second lsu red did not come back after the cold this is my lsu gold and i have one in the ground both of them came back after the 12 degrees cold so i'm i'm glad so i have one lsu gold in the ground and i have one lsu gold in container but i'm so happy that i have figs to eat this year because i thought i won't have any figs i didn't have no briba this year but i'm trusting god that next year by his grace I'm going to have some briba figs to eat. This is my LSU champagne. LSU champagne. It has just four figs, two on each branch. But I'm glad. You know, this is my LSU tiger. My LSU tiger. It struggled for a while. Because it's supposed to be as tall as all the other LSU. You know, that's LSU Improved Celeste. That one there is LSU Improved Celeste. And this is my Chicago Hardy. I'm glad that my Chicago Hardy came back. It's supposed to. So I'm glad it came back. And it has fruit. So I'm going to be patient. 
you know, the very soon my figs will start ripening. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Please like this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. So every time I upload new video, you will be notified. Thank you so much. And I appreciate all my subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you for your encouragement, your comment. I appreciate you all. And I will see you guys again in my next video. God bless you. Real good. Bye.